one good squirt will do ya. Remotely close. Action. Alright, well, it's chum egg take season, or I guess more technically the end of chum egg take season because we just finished today. We got all these fish out in the creek here. The fish that we sent out between two and three, four years ago. Are you sure they're fish? They all look like gulls. So we made all those a couple years ago and they came home. They followed the scent of the water back to where they were born and that happens to be our water. While the egg take is going on, this ladder is on. What's a ladder? It's a fish ladder. What's a fish ladder? I'm so tired. We're a little worn out from egg take because we've been doing it for three weeks. A little tired. So the next step, the fish come back. We'll go up and up and up and up and up and up and up the ladder into these two raceways. Now you say something, it's your turn. <laughs> When we collect all the eggs, we pull the fish out of those raceways and then do the dirty business. Thousands of fish come in this way, come in this way. Okay, fill this up. Edit a clip into here of fish. Movie magic. Okay. It's a little difficult without all the stuff actually going, but you know. Careful the fence is on. Fence is on. Don't touch the fence. <laughs> it's mostly just to shock us when we aren't paying attention. That's largely what it does. We have these little things in the back here that are called crowders. See what that does is let us push all the fish way up to the front. So follow me and the fish. I'm following the fish. Following the fish. We'll have all the fish pushed way up to the front of the race right here. And we have this cool little hydraulic setup. You know, play with these that scoops all the fish out of the water. It basically electrifies them. Well, doesn't it? Like, electrocutes it's like them. Electro anesthetic. Yeah. If we just took fish out of the water and tried to take their eggs out, they'd be like, give them a zap and it kind of like, Ugh. all those zap fish are going to get lifted out of that zapper basket. And they come flying down here. Fish all over this table. I'll be at the other side. I'll be your sorting partner. What you have to do up here is separate the boys from the girls. Boys have more of a type. They have a very manly, masculine face, and the girls have big pregnant bellies. Yeah. And a cuter, more demure face. Demure? <laughs> demure. 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 This will be full of all the girls. So all the boys will be over here. It'll be full of bucks. Full of what? A buck? A buck. What's a buck? The boy fish. What's a hen? A lady fish. Movie magic. Movie magic. Edit it. You take the girls and then basically, well, I mean, you slice open their belly. Stick a knife in their vent. Go around the fin, zip them right open. The hen is ripe. All the eggs will just fall right out. It's kind of brutal, but it's efficient and... They're going to die anyway. This is what they're here to do. Yep. So, we try to make it quick and as painless as we can. So we'll have the... All these bucks here, the boys. You don't really need that much uh, milk out of them. I was curious to see what word selection you were going to choose for that. One good squirt will do ya. Basically it just takes a little squeeze. We got all these girls here that are getting cut open. And then we got all these boys here that are getting used. And after <laughs> we use them, yeah, I don't know. So we chuck them down this way and they go into this pipe. This pipe leads all the way down around out to the dock and it fills up a barge with all the dead fish and then we take care of them at the end. This gets them out there nice and easy for us and we have to carry them because that would suck. Put up the fence. Put up the fence. Don't zap yourself. I'm recording just in case you do that. Building right now. Oh, I wasn't recording. Oh. Uh, pretend these are in the other building right now because that's where they're usually at. These are important for later. Here we go. All right. So, where do the eggs come out? So, you got all these eggs that are getting, you know, cut out of the fish here and they go into this little trough. Oh, there's one. Hey. They slide all the way down there. That's where all the milk falls in and mixes up. And then that comes around here to the tunnel of love. 
So there'll be a bunch of eggs and milk flowing out of here into buckets. Okay, you pretend you're carrying a bucket. So here's a bucket full of eggs. Go, go, go. Go, go. Hey, don't run. They're fragile. Oh, gosh. It's dark. All right. Here. Take that. Can you see me now? I just see a bright light. Okay. Well, it's dark in here because the eggs have to be in darkness. The light doesn't really do very good things to them. The eggs are going to come in here and then there are going to be two barrels set up where people are going to rinse the eggs. And rinsing is just getting all the blood and extra milk and all the nasty stuff out. Well, first you got to fertilize the eggs. Oh, there's so many steps when you're not here watching it actually happen. Mm -hmm. All right, rewind. <laughs> Buckets are going to come in, then we're going to weigh them. There was a scale there. <laughs> we're going to weigh them so that we know how many eggs we have. And then you take a little bit of water and you pour that into the bucket and that's what actually makes the fertilization happen. Then, that's when we start rinsing all the stuff out because we want to put clean eggs in the incubators. So we'll rinse all the extra milk and blood and just random fish junk that comes with the eggs. So then you have clean eggs. Yes. So there's no point in walking anywhere else because you can't see any. We take our clean eggs and we cover them in overdyne, which disinfects them. We'll have all these buckets full of eggs in overdyne that we sit in those troughs that are out there now. And they sit in there for an hour. When they come out of the fish, they're all squishy and very they're fragile. Very, very soft. Very squishy. After they sit in water for an hour, they get hard and they're actually a lot tougher. What was that all about? They're bad. I don't want them in my eggs. That's a good and that's a bad. Okay, now show them the incubator. Okay, we're going to an incubator. So after the eggs have water hardened, it's called, for an hour, we bring them in here to all the incubators. Oh, it's going to be way too loud. So we have these buckets of eggs and we put 15 buckets into each incubator, which is the equivalent of basically 450,000 eggs in each of those incubators. It's a lot of babies. It's a lot of babies. So after you put them in those incubators, that's basically where they're going to live until they hatch. How many eggs do we take? 36,800,000. It took us three weeks. It took a long time. I don't know where else I'm going with this. Good. Let's go home. <laughs> What's your favorite part of egg take? Oh, so my favorite job to my least favorite job? Yeah. Oh gosh. And give me your gum for a second. Give me your gum. No. I'm <laughs> give it. No. I don't like running buckets because I don't like cardio. Okay, what's your favorite part? I just like working as a team with everybody generally. That's such a wholesome a answer. Good attitude and it's fun. My favorite part is just seeing millions of things because I like large numbers of little things.